wonder if I can play without getting astro tilted. I don't know what the meta is. I don't play this game anymore. I barely did in the beginning anyway. Probably played like 100 matches total, Cam said, but... If I just focus on the basics, maybe I can actually properly learn. Not get frustrated at myself for missing things, because... I'm obviously not going to know what's going on. Yeah, that's about what I expected. I have never seen this. I don't even know if this version of the Darkness deck is relevant anymore, but I don't know how to change it yet. So, Hard mode for Catalyzer. Darkness is two, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay, I'll, I'll keep Acolyte for Zed. Oh, perfect. Probably a rare situation where I actually want Acolyte before Catalyzer. Yeah, I'll just do this. It's just like, it's, yeah, it's just pure ephemeral. It's like a Foundations deck. Okay, I'm gonna. I think this favors me. Wait till they play something out. Okay. Is there any. Well, I can't block anyway. So I think I do strike. He'll block me because he doesn't die. Although he probably doesn't. He might be really short-sighted and not want me to darkness that, so. I don't think I've ever seen this card. Throw darkness. He won't be able to play Zed anymore, so I think he doesn't have Zed. Otherwise, he wouldn't play this out this early. So that's my hand read. I think he doesn't have Zed. I can't really read beyond that. Oh, well. To the shadows. Okay. Uh, could he have a recall? Could this be bad for me in any way? I'll have Vagar next round. I want to start ramping immediately, but I don't want to level Zed. I, th I feel like I'm allowed to just claim it's a misplay. Am I? Oh, I forgot to do this. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. If he attacks, he will get the shadow, so I have to pokey now. That's interesting. Yeah, because Mark of the Isle, I, I've, I do remember last time I actually tried to get into this game and I analyzed some cards. I said Mark of the Isles would be good in like really, really specific decks. Even though it looks generally terrible. Okay, well, playing my Otterpus out. I think I just let the Shadow Fiend hit face, actually. How do I play this out? You already got a strike. Shark Chariot is back. Oh, I can't actually block you. That's right. Will I need a new blocker later, or how, how is it going to work with Vagar here? Uh... I have to value my health a little bit, because he's going to try to blow me out in like two turns. Yeah, I think I have to. Bye -bye. 
He's gonna try to blow me out on his last next attack token, right? That's huge for me. I need to hold enough for next turn. I don't think I have Vagar protection, so I just have to allow him to die and play the free Kindler. This shouldn't have huge units. Like, Hecarim's probably the biggest thing. Do I need to hold the Darkness for Hecarim? Like, Darkness Box? Or... Because everything... Like, the Shark Chariot's dead to Box. I need to play Box on his attack. Ideally. Okay, this is becoming a problem. If I play this out, am I screwed? I will have 8 mana. versus seven, but seven is what I need. That way he can't play it out this turn. He has to develop later and I can box it. Perfect. He could develop the Soul Shepherd, but I wouldn't have been able to deny that. I'm going to assume this is Hecarim. Hecarim costs six. He could come out next turn in theory. The hour approaches. Okay. Shit, that's the one thing I didn't have an answer to. Wait, but that's okay. I can hold a Shtali for next turn. <sighs> okay, because I'll need his lifesteal for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. I've got to take one of you out. Is this permanent? It is permanent. So I'll kill the higher impact one. Vagar flips on a Shtali Sentinel. Jump blockers. I'll be able to block like one thing. I attune. Um, I don't think there's a need to prank right now. I'll, I'll lose one, but. Okay, this is necessary. Anything can be scattered to its elements, even us. And it will flip Vagar if I can get him on Rekindler, which I will be able to next turn. This is my attack, at least. That's pretty huge for me. If I attack with Ishtali Sentinel, Make the nothing they have... Tra I mean, I trade Hecarim or... I don't die. Unless they have Mark of the Isles, but I think that's really unlikely. So I think I should attack. And optimize my healing. And then because this looks like a weird aggro deck. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. That's such a huge outcome. When... Ah, he's gonna open attack. Fuck. But then I can box the Spectral Riders. Yeah. <laughs> See, that looks really threatening. But they're still all in box range. Steady as life and, and I go positive here. Huge blowout turn. And then they may have a Mark of the Isles to save something, but it's not threatening. Yeah, they do. So they're saving Hecarim with it. But that's still super worth. Um I think I save my spell mana for the darkness here. 
and it shouldn't end the game yet. The Yordle here is with me. Oh wait, Mark, what am I saying? Mark of the Isle saves Hacker, and they just want to push some damage. I think that's kind of greedy. Okay, I play Raw Vagar because Rekindle gets more value next turn if I do that. Mm, unless I needed a Vent Horizon, I don't think that should matter. Not this game. I don't think that can possibly matter. Ah, maybe it could. Fuck. Well, if I develop my board enough, then. I like how I've just had what I needed, so I haven't needed the pathways yet. I guess I could have drawn Senna, and that may have been helpful. Uh, I'll just go face here. And then Conchologist might give me something. They don't have a rally in their regions. Give two allies plus two plus one. Do they have Overwhelm in this? No, they can't. It's not in those regions. So... I mean, I guess. It can't hurt. They're just out of cards. Actually, I'd like to see what your cards are. I think it's okay if I have two spell mana. I'll have all 12, and 12 is more than enough for everything I need to do. I need 10 for this. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's not. I can't prank. Uh, that is a weird, weird decision. I'm glad I caught that I needed more. Or that I could have needed more. In th Wait, why did I need more? No, I think I just got in my own head and overcomplicated things. Game is over. This Shally Sentinel and Box Blowout turn saved me. I don't know what you're planning here, buddy, but... It is time for this game to end. Sweet. I'm going to actually play enough to get out of iron for the first time. That shouldn't be hard. I would assume this is Bandle Burn, but I don't know. So if it's a burn list, then I actually do like the idea of holding a feast and... I mean, that's just minimal sustain. Am I on a timer? This has to be burn, right? This has to be burn. Yeah, it's Noxus. This has to be burn. Both of these champions, Pokestick and... Yeah, okay. So how do I mull for that? I'm not actually sure this is useful to me. Or as useful as I think. I think I still need to mull for Catalyzer and just try to... Okay, this is really useful. But I don't have an easy opener. The thing I love about this deck is that I always have options as long as I can just survive. Like, I can play out any hand. <sighs> but... 
It's a little spooky. Reporting in? Uh, yeah, okay. That's aggro. This is gonna be a hard start, for sure. Ready. I just let it go through. I don't think I play anything right now. He didn't want to give me a catalyzer, but I didn't have one. Oh, this is a bad, bad start. Um, how do I survive this? If I pass, they could just accept it, but they wouldn't want to do that, right? They want to develop something. Yeah, I don't think this deck wants to do that. Okay, okay, minor issue. So I can't do anything about the stone stackers. Now I would have to commit a ton to actually answer the rear guard. But I think I should, and I really need to start cycling my deck. And this is the only way I can actually win anything without, well, salvaging my health. I need the chump blocker from Vile Feast. I need the... Like, it's way too much to kill just a rear guard, but... Hidden pathways could be a problem. Um, this might be a game state. Okay, I was I was gonna say this might be a game state where I actually use Vagar as a blocker, but I'm taking eight. I don't think it's worth trading anything. Fuck. Um, is it worth taking one out or? Yeah, I think it is. And next turn, I will delete a stone stacker with Vagar. Uh, it might be worth playing Senna, though. Okay, this is really good. As long as the Vagar stays alive. So, most important things that I have five next turn. Because I can stun Gnar, and I can stun all his goobers with Event Horizon. So, I will always have five at the start of next turn. If I play this, I can't play Senna. Um, I think it's actually not a prior. Well, Senna doesn't actually do anything for me right now. If I have her on the board, I have access to Dawning Shadow. Um, so yeah, this is going to be one of those like Giga Champion hands where it matters that both of my champions are alive and on the board. So... I think it's actually correct to play Senna here. Even if I won't be attacking with her. It's a good thing you're cute, Vigs. And it's going to be like wasting darkness generation, but it's going to be keeping me alive long enough to stabilize, which is what I need. That's the only thing that matters here. And I have second sentinel in hand, so I can use one just for... Just need a second. Yeah, I'm not scared right now. Oh, uh, this one matters a little bit. Because you won't be affected by Event Horizon. Explosives primed. They're going to open attack and I'm going to take one damage. enemies minus is it better to stun them or just <sighs> so if i let senna die on the block that's hugely problematic Behind ya. It will be more costly. Okay, what can I play out? I guess I could progress a darkness. I need nine for that. I only have eight. I would love to event horizon. I'm just trying to figure out if event horizon or dawning shadow is more worth it. No, this gets more guaranteed value now. And you're already pulled. And Senna could die if they have any sort of burn. So I think it's... It feels fucking bad, but I think I take it. What are you shen emoting me for? Stop that. I'm just thinking which of my card, like entire board stalls is best here. I probably should have. 
Uh, the thing is, I just, like, it's gonna suck to not have the darkness generation, but you become Gnar again. So Senna can actually attack with the Sentinel now. Okay, you are going to become Pterodactyl, which kind of sucks a little bit. Because now I might have to commit my... Okay, I'm just going to play out the Sentinel. And I'm going to spend the darkness on Pterodactyl. Like in advance, so it can't block anything. Because if I don't, then I'm not going to get my lifesteal. What's this? Oh, come the fuck on, really? I may as well just answer with this. Vagar's going to see most of this. Okay, what could these regions have that would ruin Senna here if I attacked? I think Senna's allowed to attack, but if Senna dies, I'd lose the game on the spot. <sighs> what could be those two cards in hand? Okay, they're getting some fervor value out. Shit. Make the darkness your own. No, in that case, the one card in hand, I am 100% safe to attack with Senna. 100%, right? Like, I have to be. I have to be safe here. And they won't give me any other units. But Dawn and Shadow should stall the game a little bit longer. And I can use my Sentinel. I need to block, like, the earliest thing possible. So it was Conchologist. Okay, so now you have any random spell. Oh my god, they could manifest a decimate. They could actually unironically manifest a decimate. Astounding okay, what am I going to have next turn? I'm going to have eight. Exactly eight. I can only play one spell next turn anyway, so I need to know what that is. I need to know what this card is. What did you manifest? It's Mimic. Getting a fleeting copy in hand. I mean, I guess I'll just make it more expensive. It won't do anything here. Um, They might copy my Dawning Shadow, but that wouldn't be super valuable for them, I guess. They're going to open attack here, no doubt. And they're going to Shen Bao at me, despite the fact that I'm muted. I have my answer. I already know what my answer is. Fuck. Fucking god damn it. That's a really good way for them to play it. I kind of forgot about that. So now I can't heal because you have to die for me to be able to play any real hand. So I have to Dawning Shadow Gnar. And then I still am at 1 HP, which I can salvage by doing this. Now I'm at two. I hate not getting the lifesteal, but I think it's my only option. Because Gnar has to die. Like, if I kill anything else, it doesn't actually do anything meaningful. Although, mm, was that a misplay? Because you would have struck. The Overwhelm wouldn't have gone through. Then ah, I think it was a misplay, actually. I think it was actually correct to kill the rear guard. Which feels wrong, but... Yeah, sure, go ahead. You're gonna kill one of my... Wait, it's fleeting? Oh, you fucking idiot. Oh my god, you can't do anything with it. Because I pranked your mimic. Holy shit. You're top decking. What wondrous discoveries await below? Can I greed out second sentinel? Is that a real play I can make? 
I'm gonna try. I will shape death as Please, I plane. need the fucking healing. I need the healing so bad. Oh my god, I get it. Bury fear, bury doubt. Oh my god, I get it. I think. They have to block. I'm threatening lethal. I think I saved this game. Yes! 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 Battle's done. Back to yes! the war. Yes! That feels good. That feels so good. <laughs> that feels so fucking good. Oh my god. What was that? My fourth ranked game of the season? Jesus, no wonder I'm still ironed. A zero Aurelia. Hmm. Okay, what's going to be valuable in this game? Stunning the blades does obliterate them. So if I can get fortunate enough to find another Event Horizon situation, that would be good. What can I manifest from you? Is it more important to advance my own win cons? This is definitely one of the decks where I just need to survive. I don't think... I don't remember playing against this one ever. Um, Vile Feast would be good. Box would be good. Yeah, I think I want Vile Feast, Catalyzer, or Box. Okay, I have Event Horizon. It's gonna be hard for a few turns, but... Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect. This is actually a really good opener. Yeah, sure. I'm really happy with that, actually. My mind is a wonder. Let's dance. I'm really happy with that. We're close. Okay, I got a free development turn. Please attack with this thing. <gasps> no way. I think this, this is this has to be worth it. Like, because he's going to get big on future turns. So this has to be worth it. I don't care that I just took two from the soldier. Like, I'm fine with that. This is so far a really, really, really good start. Once again, I do, like, lose some darkness efficiency. But, like, who cares? Um, I think I'm... Yeah. This deck doesn't... Does this deck have a Zier protection? They should be running... Oh, huge, too. I just want to see how this plays out. What I do depends on their first move. Give me grace enough to mask my doubts. Uh, yeah, that's a fat box. That was problematic. Azir could still attack, but if he does, uh, actually, I kind of want to see if he does. This day no shot time. he does. What the fuck? Oh, wait a minute. Because he makes two, and now he's leveled. Mm. You're still only doing... I mean, I'm still killing you. So... Even though I'm taking some extra damage, I think this has to be worth it. And there's very little mana left to protect Azir. I guess there could be a Twin Disciplines, but I don't know if that deck runs it. I think I'd be more surprised if it didn't, to be honest. I would just like the Darkness flexibility with Senna here. 
They could have a blade dance coming at me, but I don't think I need the box this turn. Vagar flips on next darkness if I wait one more turn. Yeah, I guess I'm not surprised at all, am I? I'll throw Senna at this one. I do have a quick... Yeah, I, think there, I don't think there's a possible punish to this. So I may as well take the damage I can get. I mean, could they have Shape Stone? But that wouldn't do anything here, because it's plus 2-1, right? I think so. I think it's plus 2-1. Okay, I need to be prepared to Event Horizon. Okay. Goodbye. They may have some protection, but... Homecoming. Uh-oh. Aw, oh, Vagar not flipping is a problem. Okay, I think I'm not... I'm not going to replay Senna here. I need to be more patient than that. Men die, but Shirima lives forever. Yeah, I got something. I got something. Oh, wait a minute. You cost... You're, you're four now as well. Fuck. Okay, well, I'm just inevitably going to take four damage, but that's okay. Just a I kind of forgot Azir had that effect. Stand down. The hour okay, let's bring Sana back. I have a box for next turn, and that box yeah, is going to be necessary. What I'm going to do is just immediately act like that. So it's going to create a new darkness. And if they have no answer, they're just going to... Yeah, they're just going to block with the Zir, which makes perfect sense. It still flips Vagar and gives me an extra darkness. So I think it's the best call. Because I'm not really trying to push damage with this. I'm just trying to level my Vagar. They do have a sandstone charger, but that's vulnerable to box. Yeah. Remember our ancestors and fight for those who came before. Hey, she can't blade dance right now, can she? Ionians, into formation. Oh no, only when she has the attack token. Okay, so Aurelia should die. If I can survive this turn with just boxes. Blade dance two. Dance for two hearts, united in war. It's only four damage. Hello down there. I think th um, I think right now, I'm okay with this. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Aurelia is gonna blade surge this. I have to hold my darkness. Wow, what a fucking surprise. Oh my goodness. I can't believe you'd do that. It does mean I delay my win con, which sucks a lot, but I don't think that can matter. I want a chump walker. I don't think Waking Sands comes out this turn. I'd be a little surprised if it did. It's a Dune Keeper. Okay, I'm anticipating an attack. I wanna, I wanna see what's in hand. Shaped Stone is here. Dune Keeper is here. I'm gonna crank the cost of Shaped Stone. I should have done the power actually. Okay. I have second box in hand, so I'm ready. It won't stop you, so I'll chump block you. It won't stop you. It will stop you and you. And you, and here comes a third one. I think I've won this game.
This actually flips Senna. We are the light. We are the dark. We are alive. Wait a minute. I can win in one turn. Darkness and light. Wait, I don't have to wait two turns. I have two darknesses next turn. Oh, what now? Nah, he's giving up. Or they're giving up. I shouldn't assume that it's... I got... Oh! <laughs> that is comedy gaming. And here's my second darkness. And so if they respond with anything, it just goes straight into face again. And it's 20. Yeah, it's an OTK. Keep your distance. That's a pretty sweet win. Battle's done. Back to the war. Hooray. Is that my first ever promotion? Have I ever gotten higher than this? <laughs> I think it's literally the first time I've played enough ranks to promote out of Iron 4. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh. That's funny. That's so funny. Probably go to bed.